Hi, everyone. Hope you all are having a great day. Um, happy Thursday. Um, so as you guys can see, I'm still not at the University of Louisville. Um, this is just my virtual backdrop. But over the last week, I really want to, you know, take a moment to thank everyone that has commented on my YouTube videos. This is the first for me in terms of creating content exclusively for YouTube. So thank you guys for your kind words. But I've had a lot of inquiries from other professors that have said, Karen, how are you creating these tutorials? How did you get that video to work where you're sharing your screen, kind of walking people through? So what I want to do is actually create some a video and pieces of content that kind of walk you through on how about going through the process of um, creating a video, utilizing Zoom and Adobe Premiere Rush. So again, I wanna give a hat tip to Justin Hodgson at Indiana University. He had really gotten the idea and he created this great Spark page, you know, it's kind of outline how you can go about and doing this for your classes and make the videos look really professional. So thank you again, Justin, for doing this. And so let's get started. So one of the things that you want to do first is first off set up your Zoom um, account. So here, what I have is a virtual background, and then of course on my left hand side, I have a ring light to kind of you know again present um, a kind of an even view of the lights um, on my face. You know for the webinar, you know I've always wanted to you know buy a ring light for my studio that I thought I would be doing at a later point in time, but you know with the coronavirus. This is what happened. So what you want to do in this particular case is so when you're on Zoom, you're able to kind of, you know, basically record a video, you can do a virtual background. Um, you can also share your screen. And so I'll illustrate that in a little bit so you guys get to see my lovely backdrop. So what you're able to do is when you basically are recording your screen, um, once you hit the X button, it'll say, um, Basically, it'll go away. Um, but if you bring it up again, when you close it, it'll ask you once you're recording and again. You, you know, for your videos, you want to make sure that you're recording with this little guy up here. Um, it'll ask you, okay, are you done? You want to end the meeting for all, and then um, it'll basically be converting your video. So you'll be getting an MP4 file, and so I just labeled this because this was actually my first part of the video, so you'll be able to see this. So now. So what I've done, you know, for some of my videos is I keep the videos pretty short, you know, in nature, you know, just because one, people don't want to sit through like a 50 minute long video, but you want to do little snippets. But now you might be asking, Karen, how do I make the videos not just one video? How is there ways to kind of do branding, et cetera? This is where I will be helping you guys. So let's go to one of my favorite tools. So again, I'm a big fan of Adobe Premiere Rush. So like you, I would say video was probably not my strongest um, skill sets. It was one of those things I would tell my students, I am lucky to do video enough to get myself into trouble. But now with the coronavirus and everything moving online, I have no excuse of like bring it on. So you wanna pull up Adobe Premiere Rush. So Adobe Premiere Rush is available on your phone your desktop and your, um, you know, your tablet and laptop. So there's a lot of options here. So, you know, I have various documents that I have here. So I have a project name that I wanted to create. So um, I like Adobe Premiere Rush, especially for those of you who are not used to video editing. If you feel like, oh my God, Adobe Premiere is like so complicated with all these layers and features and everything, you're not the only one. So what I have here, is my part one. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go about in doing that. So, and we're gonna be creating, preparing the media, you know, doing a little dance to kind of wait around, and it's loading. So this is your main screen. So you might be like, wow, Karen, this is pretty cool. Like how can we kind of resize this a little bit so I can kind of show you guys. So this is Adobe Premiere Rush. So you see, this is your timeline down here. This is what, you know, if I wanted to kind of see how I am, like, ooh, this is kind of weird. Like I see myself double take, right? So I'm at the University of Louisville, but you might be thinking, you know, Karen, I am not happy with this. I want to make it branded. So Adobe Premiere Rush has various tiles that they have, transitions, color, speed. You can work on audio. But if you want to do anything else, if you're like, oh, I want to add more audio or another tile, I'm able to do here. So 
Um, so that is available to you guys as well. So let's go over, you know, so what I've been doing, again, what I would recommend making sure that you guys do um, is figure out like what your template is gonna be like at first. So if you want to say, you know what, I wanna have the same template for all my classes, um, I'm pretty consistent with that. So what I've been doing is I've been utilizing um, this particular um, style and to get it to be where I want it to be, um, I'm actually gonna move this over here. I actually want this tile to go in front of basically my presentation. So basically that is the first thing that people see. So when I play, I'm like, well, okay, I don't want them to basically say, follow us on social media. I want to, to show them how to create a branded video in Zoom and Rush. So that's my title. So you might also want to look at saying, seeing here, like, you know, there's a lot of things that you can edit, you can edit the bar. So for me, um, in terms of my brand, you know, I, I love red, but my color is more of a purple. So I want to go down here and kind of a magenta color. So that's actually a little, let's see. Yes. So this is going to be important. So this is my color and you'll see it has a number down here. So that's the color number. And so you might be thinking, okay, um, why is that important, Karen? Hold that thought. Um, I'm going to copy that, hit OK, and then I'm going to go back to myself. So I have basically my first kind of tile thumbnail. And then what I am going to do now is I'm thinking, you know, I don't really have a transition that I like. And so I like this angle bar wipe up. Like, this is, again, it's simple. It's something that I've been consistently doing, you know, up to this point. So what I want to do is um, I think I actually put that instead. So, okay. Yeah. All right. See, this is real. This is real that you're going to do it. So if I wanted this here, this transition, so I'm here basically, and you might say, well, yeah, Karen, this transition bar, it has some, you know, different colors than what I'm used to. Like, see, I have this purple here and then I have like this kind of peachy red. Um, so what you do here is if you want to say, have something consistent, you go over to shapes and remember um, the copy, the number, you know, and code for the color. Voila, I have the exact same code. Amazing, right? I know. It's, it's the little things in life that make us happy. So then, boom, and then, boom. So it is consistent with the colors. And so basically, if we go back to the very beginning to kind of see how this looks, you see how to create a branded video and zoom and rush. And then, you know, again, you can edit the timing and then boom, it looks natural, right? So we got that. And so what I always try to do too, because it's my videos that I'm going to be showcasing, um, I always try to have some sort of like title, you know, like that's below me, you know, that says, okay, this is where I'm at. So you don't want to have this particular like um, tile, you know, during the same content because you'll just see that you want it to overlay your main video. So I'm going to put it up here above the other timeline and you'll be able to see the timeline features this way. So I was able to add this. Whoop. So that is me. But again, you know, what I've always tried to do is I'm like, okay, I'm going to name it professor. Karen, I'm not going to change the font, you know, the font for this, the purposes of time. But again, you'll see again, you know, essentially um, the same like issue is that you have different colors. So what you want to do is kind of go back and say, okay, this color here, I want to be consistent across the board. I'm able to do that. And then again, this one needs to be consistent. So it looks on brand. So basically you're able to see that it's me. So, so we got that. And then I usually have another end style, um, kind of a call to action that I would say, you know, that I would use again to kind of re-encourage people to, you know, connect with me on social. Um, so I use the same template that I did at the beginning. Again, I'm still learning through this process. I'm still going through the same kind of thing. So what I'm basically going to be doing is going at the very end of my one minute and 30 minute, and I don't want to say follow us, connect
on social. So, and then, you know, again, if you want to have, you know, the other, you know, particular transition, you're able to do that. But I'm actually to complete this video, I will actually be importing this video in to this file. So then we'll have a completed video. I know. Amazing. This is not rocket science, but it takes time. It takes practice. But if you guys have questions in terms of how to do this, how to navigate it, just try. And what's great is for educators and students and other professionals, uh, educators have the ability to use these, these tools, you know, for their classes. And then of course, professionals, Adobe just announced that there will be two months free of utilizing their tools. So definitely start creating. So again, props to Zoom, props to Adobe Premiere, Rush and the Adobe team, and props again to Justin Hodgson from Indiana University. Follow him. He has some great advice. So uh, I hope you guys um, continue creating and I look forward to seeing your guys' videos.